This is Story Recapped. Today, I'm going to explain a horror, mystery, sci-fi film called Thelma. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. When Thelma was a child, her father, Trond, took her to the forest to hunt deer. After scouring the woods for a while, they finally see a deer in front of them. Trond aims the rifle at the deer, but he slowly points it at Thelma while she's not looking. Not long, Trond aims the gun away from his daughter, realizing that he can't shoot her. When the deer runs away, Thelma looks at her father in confusion because he let it go without shooting it. Years later, Thelma attends a university in Oslo. Being far away from home, Thelma's concerned parents call her regularly to check up on her. Her disabled mother, Uni, gets anxious because she failed to answer her phone earlier, so Thelma explains that she was in biology class. Uni then shares that her father had shown her how to check Thelma's schedule online. While studying at the library, a young student named Anja sits beside Thelma. A bird suddenly slams into the window, grabbing some of the student's attention. Thelma's hand starts trembling uncontrollably, and she soon drops to the ground while convulsing. Some of the students immediately run over to help. Soon, Thelma visits the doctor to find out if she has epilepsy. The doctor notes that it's too early to tell and asks Thelma for permission to look at her medical record from her previous physician. Thelma notes that she doesn't want her parents to know about the seizure. So, the doctor promises her that she won't contact anyone else but her previous physician. While Thelma is swimming at the university's pool, Anja approaches her and asks her if she's feeling better. After Thelma assures her that she's feeling fine, Anja tells Thelma that she'll expect to see her in math class. Later, Thelma receives a friend request from Anja on Facebook. She checks on Anja's Facebook page that night and finds out that she has a boyfriend. Uni and Tron soon visit Thelma in her apartment to bring her a few things. During dinner, Thelma talks about their family friend who believes that the Earth is only 6,000 years old. Tron senses that Thelma is about to mock their beliefs, so he tells her not to make fun of other people for their lack of knowledge. He then asks her how life originated to prove that she doesn't know everything. When they return to the apartment, Thelma apologizes to Trond and confesses that she often thinks she's better than other people, but she knows that she's not. She admits that she's envious when she sees other girls with friends and boyfriends. Trond points out that Thelma's gaining new friends on Facebook, but Thelma's not very close with them because she only talks to them briefly before class. Trond assures her that she'll eventually gain close friends, but it will take some time. One night, Thelma finds out that Anja and her friends frequent a bar nearby, so she goes there in the hopes of running into her. Not long, Anja sees her coming out of the bathroom Room. Anja introduces Thelma to her friends and invites her to sit down with them. When they notice that she's not drinking alcohol, Thelma explains that she comes from a Christian family. Christopher remarks that he finds religious practices odd and he can only believe things with a scientific explanation. Thelma challenges Christopher to explain how mobile phones work. The whole group laughs as Christopher attempts to explain how a mobile phone transmits and receives signals. Anja and Thelma end up dancing in a club later, but Anja suddenly disappears. Thelma soon leaves the club and calls her father to tell him that she couldn't answer her phone earlier because it was on silent mode. Trond mentions that Uni gets nervous when she doesn't answer their calls. Thelma then reveals that she was out with some friends and had a lot of fun. She tells Trond to relay her apology to her mother for not calling back soon. That night, Thelma thinks of Anja while trying to fall asleep. Anja suddenly wakes up and goes out for a walk near Thelma's apartment. Not long, Thelma gets the urge to look outside her window and finds Anja standing outside. When Thelma approaches her, the streetlights flicker for a moment and she starts having a seizure. Soon after the seizure stops, Anja goes to Thelma's place and stays there for the night, sleeping next to her in her bed. In the morning, Thelma asks her why she was outside the apartment building the previous night. Anja says that she got a text from her, but Thelma claims that she didn't send her any message. Thelma then surmises that Anja found her apartment because she must have told her where she lived. Anja notes that she hardly remembers anything from the previous night because she was super drunk. Anja and Thelma start frequently meeting in school and become close friends. While having wine with Anja one night, Thelma recounts that her father once held her hand over a lit candle. Although Tron pulled her hand away before it seriously got burned, Thelma remembers that it was painful. Trond then told her it's how hell feels like all the time. Anja asks her if she's angry with her dad, but Thelma stresses that Trond is kind and she can talk to him about anything. Anja notes that she's only talked to her father about 10 times in her life because he lives abroad and has other children. One day, Thelma meets with Anja and her mother at the art center to watch a ballet performance. Thelma wonders why Anja didn't invite her boyfriend, so Anja explains that she broke up with him. And as they watch the performance, Anja holds Thelma's hand. Moments later, Anja slowly moves her hand towards Thelma's leg. 
Thelma's hand starts trembling, so she tries to hold it down. She avoids a seizure, but she abruptly leaves the concert hall and prepares to go home. Anja follows her, and they end up kissing, but she eventually breaks it off and goes home. As soon as she reaches her apartment, she begs God to take away her feelings for Anja. When Thelma calls her father later that night, Trond senses that there's something wrong, so she confesses that she drank beer with her friends. Thelma apologizes, but Tron tells her not to worry. He points out that she's already an adult, and she needs to experience things on her own. The following night, Thelma goes to a party with Christopher. It doesn't take long until Anja approaches Thelma and asks her why she hasn't been responding to her messages. Thelma explains that she's been busy, and apologizes for leaving abruptly during the ballet. Later on, Christopher starts passing around a joint. When he passes it to Thelma, Julie, says she won't have any and hints that Thelma doesn't have to take a puff because there are many others who won't smoke. Not wanting to feel left out, Thelma takes a puff anyway. As she starts tripping, she notices the faces of her friends glowing. Soon, Anja starts kissing and fondling her, and a snake suddenly emerges and enters Thelma's mouth while wrapping its body around her neck. Soon, Julie nudges her away and tells her that they were just smoking ordinary tobacco. Christopher then admits that they were just messing with her, and it got out of hand. Thelma then throws up on the carpet and leaves the party. After Thelma undergoes an MRI scan, the doctor discovers that her condition is not caused by a brain tumor, so she sends Thelma to an epilepsy clinic to find out what's causing her seizures. The doctor notes that she read her medical journal, which indicates that she had a seizure when she was six due to a nervous breakdown. Her previous doctor prescribed a powerful neuroleptic medication for her irregular sleep patterns for a year. Thelma didn't know about it and surmises that her father must have taken care of it because he is a doctor. When Thelma was a child, she approached her mother while she was nursing her baby brother. Thelma tried to cuddle with Uni, but she told her to go downstairs and draw. Later, Uni went downstairs and put the infant in the crib while Thelma was drawing in the next room. When the baby cried loudly, Thelma closed her eyes and concentrated. The crying suddenly stopped, and Thelma found out that the infant had disappeared from the crib. Suspecting that Thelma was responsible for the disappearance, Uni asked her repeatedly where she had taken the infant. Thelma pointed to the sofa, so Uni asked Tron to lift the furniture while she took the baby. At the epilepsy clinic, the doctors attempt to induce a seizure psychologically after failing to trigger it with lights. Dr. Paulson starts by asking her about things that could stress her out. He then asks Thelma about the nervous breakdown she had when she was a child, but Thelma doesn't remember it. Meanwhile, Anja leaves her apartment to go to the laundry room. The doctor soon gets a minor reaction when he asks Thelma to think about boys, and Thelma recalls her moments with Anja instead. As the procedure continues, the lights start to flicker in the hospital, as well as the laundry room in Anja's building. Inside Anja's apartment, the stereo suddenly turns on by itself. When Anja returns, she's puzzled to hear the stereo playing, so she turns it off. Thelma soon recalls that she was touching herself when she thought that she was making out with Anja while getting high with her friends at the party. Paulson notices Thelma's brain activity getting stronger, so he instructs her not to hold back her painful thoughts. The window in Anja's apartment suddenly shatters, and it's immediately restored on its own. But Anja vanishes into thin air. Soon, Paulson witnesses Thelma having a seizure. After the procedure, Thelma immediately calls Anja on the phone, but it goes directly to voicemail. The following day, Paulson reveals that Thelma's seizures are not caused by epilepsy. He deduces that her non-epileptic seizures must be a physical reaction to stress or trauma. When Paulson looked at her genetic predisposition, he found out that Thelma's grandmother suffered various mental disorders. He asked Thelma if she knows anything about her grandma's illness, but Thelma says that she died long ago. Paulson, however, reveals that her grandmother was listed as a patient in a psychiatric institution only a year ago. Thelma looks up psychogenic non-epileptic seizures on the internet and finds a few hits revealing that people once mistook it as demonic possession or a witch's curse. When she visits her grandmother at the hospital, Thelma finds her in a catatonic state. A nurse tells her that her grandmother has been like that for years. She then reveals that Thelma's grandmother used to be lucid, but she had strong delusions. Her grandmother was devastated when her husband disappeared and became obsessed with the idea that she was responsible. She was under the illusion that she could make things happen with her mind, including giving herself cancer. The nurse further reveals that she once told Tron that her grandmother's medication was too strong, but he didn't seem to care. Some days pass, and Anja still hasn't appeared in class. While studying at the library, Thelma receives a text message from Anja's mother, asking Thelma if she's heard from her. 
When Thelma goes swimming in the university pool at night, she suddenly has a seizure. When her seizure stops, she tries swimming to the surface, but it's covered with tiles. She soon realizes that it's the bottom of the pool, so she immediately swims back up to the surface and gets out of the water. The following day, Thelma goes to Anja's apartment. Nobody answers the door, but she discovers that the door is not locked. When she goes inside and checks the window, Thelma finds a few strands of hair stuck on the glass. That night, Thelma calls her mother in tears and confesses that she's been having seizures. She also tells her that a girl has disappeared because of her and that she'll be coming home. When she gets home, Thelma tells her parents about her seizures while having tea. Trond tells her not to worry because his patient who had a similar condition turned out fine. Not long, Thelma starts feeling sleepy. Trond reveals that they put a sedative in her tea to help her calm down. He discloses that they know what's happening to her and they will reveal something that will cause her a lot of pain. Years ago, Uni was bathing Thelma's baby brother, but the infant suddenly disappeared when she momentarily went out of the room to get a towel. That same moment, Thelma was in her room sleeping. Tron soon woke her up and asked her if she had done something to the baby, but Thelma swore she didn't do anything. As Tron continued looking for the infant, he saw Thelma outside the house. When he approached her, Thelma pointed towards the frozen lake. Tron broke down in despair upon finding the baby frozen in ice. Uni, distraught by the loss of her son, tried to kill herself by jumping off a bridge, but she survived and became disabled. Trond then tells Thelma that something inside her can make things happen when she really wants it. Trond starts giving Thelma medication to keep her from manifesting her unusual ability. He expresses regret for letting her go to the city on her own. He once thought that her ability had disappeared because there have been no manifestations since she found God as a child. Later, Thelma prays to God to ask for forgiveness. She then confesses that she's angry with God and her father because of her supernatural power. When Trond asks Thelma if she's angry with Anja, she reveals that she's in love with her. Thelma contends that Anja loved her too, but Trond hints that Thelma might have used her power to make Anja fall for her. That evening, Uni grows concerned that their efforts to help Thelma might not work. She tells him that they have to accept the consequences if they fail. The following night, Thelma reveals that she visited her grandmother at the hospital. She asks Trond if he's planning to keep her under heavy medication like her grandmother, but he doesn't respond. In the morning, Trond takes his boat to the middle of the lake while Thelma is asleep. Suddenly, a flock of birds flies above him, and he sees someone on the shore. Moments later, his hands burst into flames, and the fire quickly spread to his whole body. The fire is extinguished when he falls into the lake, but it engulfs his body again when he emerges from the water. Trond immediately submerges into the water and doesn't return to the surface. Not long, Thelma wakes up and goes to the lake. She dives underwater to find her father, but she ends up in the university pool. When she emerges, she smiles upon seeing Anja. They kiss for a moment, but she suddenly finds herself back in the lake. Upon returning to the shore, she coughs out a dead bird that got into her mouth. Back at the house, Thelma's phone receives a call from Anja. As Thelma lies on the ground, the bird that came out of her mouth comes back to life and flies away. Thelma soon returns to the house to check her phone. Uni asks her where Trond is, but Thelma just touches her cheek and leg before walking out of the house. Uni begs her not to go and chases after her. Uni soon realizes that she is out of her wheelchair and she's somehow regaining her ability to walk. With her powers now under control, Thelma goes back to the university and continues her relationship with Anja. She can now confidently kiss Anja without fearing what her father would do to her. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.